Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy Pin Mail Monday. In today's video, I'm going to be going over all the pins that I've accumulated for the past week or so. Some of them I've traded for, some I've purchased. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm really excited to show you guys. And like my man Darkwing Duck says, let's get dangerous. But not really, I'm just going to show you some pin mail. So let's go ahead and open up the first package. I'm going to go ahead and open this up here for you. All right, so this one's really cool. This is one of the diorama pins, the Disney diorama pins. Um, this one depicts Pirates of the Caribbean. It's really cool. It's got Mickey and Minnie on there, and they got the pirate ship behind them. Just a really, really cool pin. It has like a 3D effect to it, so I really like that. This pin's a little bit older. It's from 2007, and then on the bottom it has like a felt piece. So you can kind of stand it up like this and display it. So really cool. You don't necessarily have to put it on a pin board. You can just like stand it up on a table or on your mantle. So I really like this pin. I'm a Pirates of the Caribbean collector, so this is something that will definitely be going in my collection. But I think all the details on the pin are great. Um, if you can see where the water is, the camera get on there, but the water kind of has like a little bit of a sparkling effect to it, so that's really cool. But just a really cool pin. Something that you don't see every day. On the Disney diorama pin, it says Disney 2007, has the Disney copyright China, and two pin posts on the back. So there are other pins in this series. Um, the first one that comes to my mind is there's a Haunted Mansion Chip and Dale where they're kind of in the Doom Buggy. And I think it's a slider pin, so it kind of slides across, but it's a 3D diorama pin too. So that one's really cool. So if you like pins like this, keep a lookout, but there are different ones in this set. So this next pin that I'm about to show you, I'm really excited about because in my last video, if you guys haven't seen that, I'm gonna leave a link to it down below. I got one other pin from this series. And this is an Acme Jumbo pin, part of the Golden Magic series. And they feature the princesses and their castles. I think it's called the Kingdom Castle series. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the newest pin that I got for that series. Really excited about it. And it is the Bell Jumbo. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this pin out of the plastic and show you guys a close up. So I took the plastic off the Golden Magic series Bell pin so you can get a close up of it without the glare of the plastic. But her face looks amazing. I really like how they use the two tones of brown for her hair. Her dress with the sparkling embellishments look amazing. And I love how it has Beast Castle in the background. It's just a beautiful pin. To show you how big this pin is, I put a Mickey pin back next to it. And you can just tell it is a huge pin. Very, very beautiful and will definitely be going into our collection. The backer card on the back of the Bell Acme pin shows the certificate of authenticity. It says it's a limited edition pin and it tells you that it's from the Acme archives. Here's a close look at the back of the Acme Jumbo Bell pin. It says officially licensed Disney pin, and it says limited edition of 300, and it has three pin posts. So I'm really happy to add Bell to our collection. So at the moment we have Ariel and Bell, and the only other one that we want out of this series is the Aurora pin. So still on the look for that. I'm gonna try and trade for that hopefully in the next coming weeks. If you haven't seen any of the Acme pins, a lot of them are very well done. They're all jumbo and they're a pretty low edition size. So like I said, this one is limited edition of 300. So awesome pin and I'm really happy to add it to our collection. So the next pin that I got is a pin from a series that Stacy and I have already completed. It's from the Windows of Evil series and the one that I got is the Jack Skellington Windows of Evil. So this pin is really, really cool. I'm always excited to have extras of these because I think they're really good traders and I think people will be looking for these for years to come. Um, one of the best series and sets that Disney has come out with in a long time. Um, I love the stained glass elements to them. I think the details on there are phenomenal and they're limited edition of 2000, which is a pretty low LE size for Disney park pins. A lot of times they'll be like limited edition 5,000 or 4,000, so. The lower limited edition, the harder they are to come by, and I just think that the Windows of Evil pins are awesome. So it's going into our trader books and really excited to have it. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close-up of this pin real quick. Here's a close-up of the Jack Skellington pin. I really love all the details in this pin, the stained glass effect of it, even though it's not truly stained glass because you can't see through it, but it has like the stained glass elements. I think it's really cool. I love the uh, pumpkins there on the bottom. I think those are really neat and just a really detailed pin. And like I said before, one of my most favorite series that has come out from Disney Parks in the past couple years. This pin has two pin posts. It is Disney copyrighted 2019, Nightmare Before Christmas, and it is limited edition of 2000. The next pin that I'm gonna show you is very special to Stacy and I because we were actually at Disney for New Year's. So if you haven't guessed already, it is the 2019 Cinderella Disney pin. So on the front it says 2019 Happy New Year. It has Cinderella and Prince Charming 
and it has like this hinged effect. Let me see if I can get it to open up for you. And it opens up so you can see Prince Charming and Cinderella. And then on the opening piece on the inside, it says 2019, Happy New Year. So I love the backer card on this. And I love how it's the clock. So with Cinderella, when the clock strikes 12, everything goes back to normal. So it's just a really cool pin. Then on the back, it has the Disney copyright 2019. And it's a limited edition of 2000. Stacy and I were actually at the Grand Floridian for New Year's in 2019. We made a video about it, so we're gonna leave a link to that down below. But we had such a great time. The Grand Floridian is definitely one of our favorite hotels. Not that we stayed there, but one day we will. The Grand Floridian will always hold a special place in our hearts because that's where I proposed to Stacy. Um, I rented out the Grand One yacht, which is this yacht that you can rent out at the Grand Floridian and it goes out onto the Seven Seas Lagoon and you can watch the fireworks from the boat and I proposed there. It was amazing and definitely one of my best memories at the Grand Floridian Hotel. So moving right along, next up is actually a fantasy pin. So I'm really excited to show you guys this. Um, this is something that will definitely go into my collection and it's from one of my favorite movies from the 90s. It's part of that Disney afternoon era, but let's check it out. So this is a Goofy Movie pin from Little Shop of Pins and it features Max and he's doing the perfect cast to catch Goofy. This pin is so cool, it's a two pin set. So one of the pins is Max with the parachute and the other pin is Goofy with the lure tied to his shorts. So a Goofy Movie is one of my all time favorite Disney movies. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. It's amazing and the music in it is awesome. Go Powerline. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the plastic and show you guys a close up. Here's a close up of the Goofy and Max pin from Little Shop of Pins. I love the colors in this pin and I just think it looks amazing. The people at Little Shop of Pins did a great job. So these pins have two pin posts for each pin, so four pin posts total. And on the back it says Little Shop of Pins. So the reason that I got this pin is I thought the design was amazing. It is a soft enamel pin, I will say, which I'm not too fond of. Um, I usually like hard enamel better, but I couldn't pass it up. I thought the pin was very well done. The colors in it are very vibrant and Goofy Movie is one of my favorite movies. So it's like, why not? But I think Little Shop of Pins did a phenomenal job on this pin and I believe it's still up on their website. So if you want to get this pin, go to littleshopofpins.com and grab one because they're probably going to sell out pretty soon. Next up is a pin that I got from a company that makes phenomenal backpacks. If you guys don't know what company that is, that is Loungefly. If you guys want to guess what pin this might be, leave a comment down below. But this is some of the new pins that Loungefly has been releasing, and this is the limited edition 500 Lilo and Stitch pin. Have you guys been able to get any of these pins from Loungefly? They have been super hard to get. I know that they're limited edition of 500, but whenever they release these, they sell out in like a minute or two. So I know that they've been really hard to come by and really hard to get. So leave me a comment down below. Have you tried to order any of these launch line pins? Have you been successful? I'd like to know. I was really lucky and was fortunate and was able to get this Lilo and Stitch pin, but man, they are tough to get. Something that I really like about these limited edition lounge fly pins is I love the box that they come in. I think that's really cool, has um, really nice graphics on them. And then the backer card that it comes on in the box is really cool as well. All of the pins that lounge fly has released have been like that. This pin included the Mulan pin and the Cinderella pin. They all come with a really nice box and a nice backer card. I've mentioned this before, but a lot of times when you go to the Disney parks, when you buy a pin, they're either on like a plain white card or a plain black card. So I really like the card to have like a theme that goes with the pin. It's just an extra detail, but I really like it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you a close up of this pin. Here's a close up of the Lounge Fly Lilo and Stitch pin. It's a swinging enamel pin. And what I really like about this pin is I like the swinging element to the pin. Uh, it's really cool how Lilo and Stitch are just hanging out. Lilo's playing her ukulele and you got Stitch there just lounging, hanging out. And then you got Scrump down here with the uh, record player maybe making some music of his own. The Lilo and Stitch pin has three pin posts. On the bottom left it has the Disney copyright. And in the middle it says limited edition 500 made in China. So I just wanted to say that I'm really excited that Loungefly has been releasing some limited edition Disney pins. Um, it's really cool that they're a low limited edition. They're a limited edition of 500. So I know that they can be hard to get, but I think they're really cool. I like that they're jumbo sized and how they come in this collector's box with a nice backing card. So keep it up Loungefly. I really like them. So let's check out the next pin. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this because it is in plastic, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it out real quick and then I'm gonna show you guys. So this pin I was super excited to get. 
Um, I'm a big Star Wars fan, and I don't know if you guys have watched The Clone Wars on Disney+, Plus, but it's amazing, and one of my favorite characters is Ahsoka Tano. So Acme has just released some pins. They're super low limited edition. They're limited edition of 150, and this is one of the Ahsoka Tano pins. I'm going to show you right now. Check it out. It is so cool. It comes with this Certificate of Authenticity, which is on this card. It has it on the back, and this one's called The Apprentice. And it's just beautiful, and I'm going to show you a close-up of this pin right now. So I really love how this pin comes on a backer card. I love the colors and the detail on it. On the very top, you can see um, Ahsoka and Anakin. You see a big profile of Ahsoka there. And then near the bottom, you see Ahsoka fighting Vader. And this is the pin right here. It's a three-inch jumbo pin and it features Ahsoka Tano. I love the colors on there. Everything is very detailed and it's just a beautiful pin. So I'm super excited to have this. And just to show you a good size comparison, I put a Mickey pin back next to it and you can just tell it is a huge pin. And you can tell the details on her face are amazing. This pin is awesome. And on the back of the card, it has the certificate of authenticity. It says Star Wars, the apprentice pin one. I'm still on the hunt for the apprentice pin two. Um, but this shows you that it's an edition size of 150, how many artist proofs there are, and how many printers proofs there are, and the president of Acme Archives signed it. And this pin has three pin posts. So I'm really excited to have this pin. It comes on like this nice backer card, so I was thinking maybe I could put it in a frame or something. I think it might look really nice, because I don't know if I want to take the actual pin off of the card. I feel like they should just stay together. All right, so we're coming down to the last few packages here. So let's go ahead and open up the next package. See what's inside this one. So this is the WDI Aerial Wedding Dress Pin. This pin is part of a set. I think there's seven in the set. And it shows Ariel in different scenes. So like we have Ariel in her wedding dress here. They have Ariel in her blue dress. They have um, Ariel in like her regular um, mermaid outfit with the green. And there's other ones in this set. But I only have one of this set and it was super hard to find. Um, so hopefully I can trade for the other six in this set, but I know it's going to be a long time. It's going to be hard to find all seven of them. And I'm going to show you a close-up of it right now. Here's a close-up of the Ariel wedding dress pin. Um, I really like the size of it. It's a jumbo pin and the colors on it look really good. I like the white and the blue on her dress. I like her um, tiara up top, the crown and the gold has a little sparkling elements and her face looks really good too. So definitely something that's going to be going into my collection and I'm really excited to have it. And on the back it has two pin posts. It says WDI exclusive limited edition of 250. All right, so we're down to our last pin for Pin Mail Monday. I'm really excited to show you guys this pin. Check this out. This is the Beauty and the Beast 25th anniversary limited edition of 1000 pin set. So this has four pins and they're kind of like screen printed on like a like on a film. So it's not stained glass per se but it kind of has that stained glass look. But I'm gonna go ahead and open the box and show you a close up of these pins. So there's four pins in this set and as you can see on the top two, you have one with Belle and the Beast feeding the birds. And then the other one is Belle and Beast by the fireplace where she's taking care of him. And then you have the bottom two, one is with Belle and Beast dancing in her yellow dress, so beautiful. And then the other one is when he's about to get transformed back into human form. So all four of these pins are just amazing. But I'm going to go ahead and take them off the backer card so you can see how they really look. So here's a close-up of the Beauty and the Beast 25th anniversary pin. So on the front, it's like a screen print on a film, kind of like a film strip. I'm going to try and show you what it looks like next to some light. So as you can see, when I put it up against some light, it kind of has a stained glass effect a little bit, but it's more like a film strip kind of technique, but really, really cool. And on the back, it has two pin posts has the Disney copyright and limited edition of 1000. I really think that this box set for the 25th anniversary came out really nice. Um, I think the box itself is beautiful. I love the colors on there and I love how it has like the see-through window so you can see all the pins very clearly. So definitely something that's going to be going into our collection. Stacy and I mainly collect princess pins, villain, and pirate pins. So that's going to wrap it up for today for Pin Mail Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you had a favorite pin that you like, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. My favorite, I don't know, it's tough. 
The WDI Ariel Wedding Dress Pin is phenomenal. I really love that one. And this one is amazing too. Um, the Beauty and the Beast 4 pin set. And I really like that fantasy pin, the Goofy Movie Fantasy Pin. That one was amazing too. But probably my favorite is this Ahsoka Tano Limited Edition 150 pin. I think it's amazing and I'm super excited to have it. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave me a comment down below. Do you like seeing these pin videos? Would you like me to make more? I'd love to know. So thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.